Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Guys, EA has made a mistake once again, and compensation is going to be the payment for it. We're going to take a look at yesterday's crazy team of the season guaranteed repeatable SBC that dropped, and why the SBC may be tough to find because EA took it out of the game a few hours after it was dropped yesterday, and now there are free packs coming to those who did the SBC before it went away. I want to take a look at that and how that's probably going to impact the market today, and of course, with all the upgrade packs that we got, what's the best upgrade pack to do? How can you best pack team of the season cards through this upgrade pack? grind this week a lot of that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new yesterday as expected was upgrade pack frenzy let's take a look through all the upgrade packs that were dropped there are tons of them i think we had like 10 new sbcs dropped on the game yesterday it was a big time upgrade sbc day starting with all of the premium packs and that's what i want to get into here is what is the best way to make packs to give yourself the best chance to grind the menus right now and to pack team of the season because i think there's two different ways to get that done right now at the moment we got all the premium upgrade sbcs which of course just require the rare golds but we have two different versions of a player pick an 80 plus player pick which is just all gold commons and an 83 plus player pick which requires an 82 squad and an 84 rated player. This one's a bit expensive and it definitely is not worth it, quote unquote, from scratch, but it does have probably the best pack weight out of all of these packs that we had dropped if you're just looking to pack team of the season cards. So we also had the 88 plus FIFA World Cup hero, Trophy Titans player pick. Man, I, I tweeted out yesterday after the stream, man, this player pick, yes, you could get something good from it. Yes, it's not that expensive, but Guys, every single time I see one of these opened, it's just World Cup heroes that have been released since December on this game, and it's just not worth it. Even though it's a pretty cheap SBC, I'm probably not going to be getting that one done. It just does not seem worth it to me. Now, let's talk about this best crafting scenario, right? All of these premium upgrades are about 7,000 coins to do because rare golds on this market have literally not even moved, which is making it very, very craftable and very doable, right? 700 coins, these cards are sitting here. That means you can probably win them for 650 on bid they'll probably go up another 100 coins or so during the week as people are doing these upgrade packs but the best way to grind the menus right now in my opinion if you're starting from scratch and you want to build upgrade packs is to buy the gold rares a lot of what we did in the past couple of weeks during the other weeks of team of the season is we started by buying the gold rares you do the premium upgrade and then you rinse into another sort of upgrade that's the same scenario that i like for crafting right now now to pick which league scenario you want to go with La Liga seems to be one of the most popular ones to go with just because there's the most TOTS cards in packs from La Liga. You've got two versions of Ter Stegen, two versions of Lewandowski, and then guys like Griezmann, Militao, and Benzema, and Vinny in the team as well. That's a stacked list of players. Uh, League One is very popular because you've got the Mbappe, you've got the Neymar. Um, you know, Bundesliga, all good players in there too. Premier League, of course, good fodder. And Serie A, if you're going to pack a blue from Serie A, it's going to be a banger. Honestly, guys, I don't think I've done a lot of La La Liga, I've done some League One and Serie A already. I don't think there's one of them that just has better weight than the other. Let's be honest, it's hard. It is difficult to pack Ultimate Team of the Season cards. The pack weight isn't amazing. I think that's going to be the number one thing throughout this week that makes people upset about Ultimate Team of the Season is it's hard to pack these cards, but it's kind of a given, right? These are the most high rated and some of the most juiced cards in Team of the Season. The pack weight's not going to be that amazing right as it normally is during some of the other weeks of team of the season but the fact that when you pack one you get such a great card or besides the bottom five right Fofana, Saliba, Frimpong, and Klaus and Ter Stegen you're getting a really really good card that's what makes it worth the craft and the grind this week is the potential of packing one of those big players and a lot of people were packing blues yesterday from these premium upgrade packs not as many but I think it's still the best way to grind start by doing the premium upgrades you get the gold golds and the non-rare golds back the non-rares put into the 80 plus player pick which of course is very easy to do and gives you a ton of fodder back the reason this is so good to do is you get so many 82s 83s 84s and then 85s and sometimes walkouts as well even some people were getting uh team of the season cards from those 80 plus player picks yesterday that is the best way to craft on the menus right now if you're looking to do player sbcs like maybe some of the end of an eras that we have gotten or other player sbcs or maybe that icon player pick which i haven't completed yet if you're trying to craft any SBCs right now, the 80 plus player pick after doing the premium is the best way to go about that. Now, 
talking about the best way to just strictly try to pack tots cards and have the best chance for that i think this 83 plus player pick is the way to have the best chance at just getting cards from ultimate team of the season or rest of the world tots now i will say a lot of the tots cards that i saw packed from this yesterday were from the rest of the world team and again it's still very difficult to pack guys from the um ultimate tots 11 but i think this sbc gives you a little bit better shot at that and i am like way overpaying at the moment for this because i don't have much of my club at all but an 82 rated squad with an 84 player inside of it really guys i think is is the way to go for if you're just trying to pack blues i might not even be able to get this done right now without having to spend too much more but um, I think that one right there has your best chance of packing a card from ultimate team of the season and just getting team of the season cards. It is a bit more expensive to do, of course. It is, what is it, like uh, 15K or something like that? 12,000 coins, 13,000 coins to get that done. But here's the way that I'm going about these, right? I'm doing the, gra the craft where I'm buying the gold rares, going into the premiums, and then rinsing into the 80 pluses. And then after that, out of the 80 pluses, what am I getting? 82s, 83s, 84s, right? I just put those into the 80 plus player pick. And as you do that over over time i think that's a really good way to rinse into the 83 plus but i'll probably end up doing a nice set of maybe 15 to 20 83 plus player picks at one time just to try out how those sit you know because 20,000 coins or 15,000 coins per player pick to get a decent chance to take out all those cards that are 82 and below in a player pick you know you have decent chances for a tots card there so that's kind of the way to grind the menus right now um, again, I think the premiums is the best way because you get to rinse into another player pick from what you get from that pack. That's always going to be the best grind for me. But um, again, so much to grind right now on the menus. So many SBCs are available right now too to craft and to put fodder into. And we're going to keep getting more TOTS packs, right? I know the TOTS pack is not live right now at the moment. Uh, but when it was live, that this is another SBC that was really, really great to use your fodder from doing upgrade packs to craft into. Not to mention, our end of an era player that was dropped yesterday Hector right and EA did the business with this card man I have to say fair play to EA yet another insane value end of an era player SBC the fact this one's so good is he can play left back CDM and center mid the center mid position change on this Hector card if you have a Bundesliga squad for 40k this has got to make its way in your team right he is six foot one high and average body type four star four star and he's got some really good uh, stats if you put an anchor on him to make him lengthy um, he becomes actually a 95 rated center back. I looked at this card right away and was hoping that he would have center back position change, but he does not. I mean, can you imagine a uh, 95 rated center back with 95 acceleration and lengthy? That would be a cracked card. And I think EA knew that. That's probably why they didn't put that position on his card, but it's probably good the way that it is for 40,000 coins, WSBC. GG's there from EA. Other than that, yesterday was kind of a quiet day. Uh, there was not only one kind of circumstance of compensation before we get into the tots pack i think this has been fixed but a lot of people yesterday were talking about the 100,000 coin pack that was in here the ultimate tots essentials pack which i believe was glitched in that uh portuguese brazilian uh language once again portuguese do brazil or, or something like that um it was glitched i think it is fixed now, a couple of the tweets that I have seen, this is from Unique Riggers on Twitter. He said, the 100K Essentials Pack description has just been changed on Portuguese do Brazil to mention that the picks are loans. He's hoping that there is compensation upcoming. So if that affects you and if you open that pack yesterday, watch out because there might be even more compensation coming on this game. Now, speaking of compensation, it's all about that guaranteed TOTS pack that EA took off the game yesterday. They released it right at 6 p.m., it's a WSBC, guys, right? 54,000 coins. It's an 84-rated squad with one team of the season, and you need two 86 and higher players, which easily you turn in a team of the season card. There's one. You put in one more 86, fill out the rest of your squad with like 82s, 83s, and maybe even 81s, and boom, you've got an 84-rated squad. Very cheap to do, especially if you recycle it. If you get a bad one, put it right back in, buy the 82s and 83s, and you can do the SBC straight over again. Now, this was repeatable five times times and after about two hours and opening a bunch of them on stream i was only able to open two on my account but a lot of you guys opened multiple of them what we noticed was that they were only giving out team of the season players and it seemed like okay where are the team of the season moments cards 
in all of this, right? Shouldn't this be giving out TOTS and TOTS Moments cards? Because that is the name of the SBC, TOTS slash TOTS Moments. And it seemingly uh, was the case that the pack was glitched. And that led EA basically two hours after content dropped to remove the SBC. They said the TOTS or TOTS Moments SBC did not contain the correct rewards, has been temporarily removed. It will return and impacted players will receive corrected rewards in game in the coming days, which I cheekily responded to with in the coming days. See you in September, because we know this compensation is going to have to take a long time. The League One compensation isn't even done. And that's what, almost two, two and a half, three weeks uh, from now. And that's when that happened. So um, it's going to take a while for this compensation, guys. But the big thing is this SBC was glitched in terms of the pack weight. I wouldn't say that it was like cracked or that it was super overpowered. Uh, we did pack a couple of really good ones, though. We got a KDB. We got a Barella. Now, again, you can't have super high hopes for an SBC like this either because it's 50,000 coins to do this SBC. And it's any TOTS card from the main leagues, from the minor leagues. Any single TOTS player can be in this pack, um, but it's a fun one to do, and it's so craftable, like we said. If you get a bad one, you just turn it straight in, and you get to do the SBC over again. So, with that SBC still not being in the game, at the time of me recording this video, it has not been re-released back into the game yet. I don't know when it's going to be. Like other times when this has happened before, EA waits to release the SBC. Um, I mean, they sometimes, it goes either way, man. Sometimes they wait to release the SBC until the next day. Sometimes it just randomly pops up at any given time. And that could be the case here. Now, while the SBC has not been out, I'm going to take a little bit of a market spin on this. Um, while the SBC has been taken away and it's not now out in the game, there's been a couple prices on the market that have looked really, really interesting to buy in on because when the SBC dropped, we saw prices move and stuff has come back down. TOTS cards were 36,000 coins a piece. I was trying to get some of these at like 30, 31,000 coins. They're starting to rise back up a little bit. If these TOTS cards on the market are anywhere near below 31K, I think it is a good pickup because all of these were 36K. And you can imagine, right? people doing these SBCs over and over and over throughout the week that's probably just going to be a number that grows and grows as we get towards the end of the week honestly tots cards could be 40k by the time we get towards Thursday Friday on this game with that SBC being out five times per day now also fodder right I want to look at 86s now these were really really low earlier as well they're 13,000 coins but guys look at these prices yesterday they went from 11 12k all of these 86s were 18 to 19,000 coins in that hour when the SBC was out or the two hours when the SBC was out in game these prices right now at like 13,000 coins I'm about to go do a club stock because honestly this SBC is going to come back out again, and these cards are going to go straight back up to at least 17, 18,000 coins just because everybody's going to keep doing this SBC, right? So I would try to pick some of these up. If the SBC has not been re-released yet, those card prices are going to go back up because guess what? When it gets re-released today and gets put back out on the game, people are going to want to do this SBC again so that's kind of what i would do right now uh on this game if you have invested in fodder cards or if you invested in tots cards like i have still i'm still holding a lot of these right i bought a lot of these at like twenty three thousand coins twenty three thousand coins earlier in the week i'm still holding the line on these maybe you list for lazies at like 40 to 45k some of these guys don't have price ranges too much higher than 40 to forty five thousand coins either which um i mean technically we still are looking at a scenario where these guys could go really really high in the coming weeks still but this is probably an investment that we will want to get out of in the next two weeks and not hold too much longer than that because then does it really become worth your while uh, if they go to 40k you're basically doubling your money and that seems pretty worth it for such a short time frame if that were to happen this week so that's the situation with this sbc once again uh, again guys if you open the sbc um, before they took it away, right? It was out for literally two hours after the content drop on Monday, yesterday. However many you opened in that time frame of the five that were available, that's how many TOTS packs you should get back whenever they do compensation. And of course, it's not like you can still do the SBC and get compensated for it. It's kind of like you had to be there for it. And if you didn't do any of them, then there's no compensation coming your way. But that is just, it's wild, man, that we have all of these mistakes right now continually happening in this game for compensation.
station. So moving forward with the rest of this game this week, what's today on Tuesday going to look like after all of the madness? Where's the hype on today's game? Well, we still have end of an era SBCs hopefully coming and it's just a, it's just a grinding week on this game, right? It's just a great week with the cards that are in packs. Um, to really work the game, work the menus to your favor, and at least get a good chance at packing one of these insane ultimate TOTS cards, whether you're doing the upgrade packs or the TOTS guaranteed. And that is why I'm staying away. Honestly, guys, I'm probably not going to buy anything this week unless I'm really trying to work the market a bit and make a couple of flips. I'm probably not going to buy any cards. If you're looking to buy stuff for your team, once again, uh, this is the reason why last week and even in the cu last couple of days, we were mentioning waiting to buy teams and players for your team because with all this content that is out all of these SBCs that are out right now it's just coins are being drained off the market at a crazy crazy rate and that is why I was very hesitant to be doing too much on the market now I did flip that uh Kavara donor that you see on the transfer list there that was a really good flip made a couple hundred K on that one but most of these cards right now are just kind of floating downwards in price because coins are being drained off this game and every day at content basically prices Prices just drop every day of content on this game. It's probably going to continue happening throughout the rest of this week. So be very careful buying meta, mid-tier to high-tier cards for sure. And if you're trying to make coins, fodder, open bids, and out-of-pack special cards are definitely the best place to be right now on this game, especially um, if anything is required for maybe like uh, the cups still, those road to the final cards, man of the matches, those are really good to trade with there. So I would just hop on the bids and find some cards out of packs. Look on Footbin, right? Look through some players here. Scroll through some of the old team of the season teams. And uh, like yesterday, uh, Balde was a really good trade because I think we even mentioned it in yesterday's video that some of these cards that link to the most popular SBCs that have been dropped recently, like Balde being um, the, the link to Busquets, he went all the way down to 145,000 coins right after the SBC dropped. He went all the way back to like 160 to 170. So there's a good fluctuation in there that you could have traded with in the panic. Stuff like that's going to happen continually throughout the week this week. That is a good part of the market to get involved in. And uh, these Tots and Moments cards, guys, they're still really rare. And they still fluctuate a good amount as well, like the Rente that we saw there. Um, you know, Fakir, Javi Galan. Those are the cards we thought we were going to be packing from that guaranteed Tots pack yesterday that when we didn't see them, we were kind of confused as to why they weren't a part of it. So I would kind of look at those cards as well today on this game if you're trying to make some coins on this market now speaking of more content that is happening today or firstly if you're like nate i want to do upgrade packs i want to grind the menus i want to give myself a chance at packing tots cards how can i do that right now at the moment my best advice to you would be hop into the objectives right even if it's just doing this paul mullen objective which gives you a 75 plus a gold pack a premium gold pack small electrum you grind a little bit play some rivals games while getting this objective done try to combine as many things as you can make sure you play the cup make sure you're getting all of these objectives done that give you packs maybe it's in milestones even if you go and play the silver cup right you get an 82 times 10 for winning nine games in the silver cup it's going to be a grind but if you go and do it you get some good packs back and that'll provide you with some fodder and with some players that you need to get those SBCs done and to have a little bit more fun on the game this week. So I would definitely say that is something you can look into. Now, with the end of an era train continuing, we do have one more leaked SBC. That would be another great SBC to be crafting on this game. And it is, once again, the Asensio, right? We have that Asensio leak for an end of an era card. We have not seen or heard anything too much about this yet, but hopefully this is our SBC for today on this game. Other than that, there's really not many other leaks besides the Kaka, right? And that's another big SBC that would be really, really fun to craft this week. I'm very much looking forward to this Kaka ECL item. Again, the award winner or uh, the guy that was chosen basically by the guy who won the E Champions League. He chose Kaka. Kaka is getting an SBC. Don't know when it's dropping still. I hope it's soon because that would be a baller of an SBC to craft right now with so much fodder available via the upgrade packs on this game. So watch out for either Kaka or for the Ascento SBC to drop today. And still, we await a big leak of a Zlatan end of an era. Guys, as we get further on in this week and as we do not have any official posts about this guy getting an end of an era, I worry more and more that it might be just like last year that we don't get a Zlatan end of an era and that we get a Zlatan and Shapeshifters 
or summer heat instead, because that is exactly what happened last year with Marcelo. I know you guys remember Marcelo had the insane shapeshift this card last year. He retired, of course, uh, or moved on from Real Madrid after the end of last year. And, um, you know, people wanted an end of an era. He did not get that card. So that's kind of everything that's going on in FIFA right now at the moment. It's just a big menu grind on this game, trying our hardest to pack these team of the season cards. And I know it seems pretty crazy to say and to watch out for, but guys, once we get to tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have some shapeshifter hype really starting to build as well. So just enjoy the content on the menus right now. Not often do we have content that is this grindable and craftable. You can just sit on the menus and do upgrade packs all day that's literally how it is right now and the fact that the upgrade packs are super cheap too 700 coins per gold rare i think the commons are up so the player picks are a bit expensive but that's why the best way to grind the upgrades right now is to buy the rares first and uh then get the commons then turn it into the player pick because commons are i think they're like 550 or 600 which uh, 600 yeah 550 almost instantly selling and 600 uh for the easiest buy you know 700 co 700 coins 100 coins more for the premiums it's just so much easier to do that so that's the content for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i can't believe ea has messed up so many things in the past couple, past couple days more compensation is incoming we'll keep you guys updated on how it goes it's been nathan for the count i'll see you guys in the twitch stream today link in the description peace out